Hey, in today's video, we're gonna create this in After Effects. All right, let's go ahead and create a new solid. Control Y to create a new solid and rename this mask, Hit OK. While selecting the mask layer, go and select this rectangle twice, double click, and we're gonna animate this. So make it a little outside of the frame and bring this out of the frame as well, like this. And hit M on the keyboard, set a keyframe for the mask and hold down Shift and page down once and make this stretch out and hold down shift again and page and page down one more time and bring the other end out of the frame. If you turn on this transparency, you can see better what's going on. Hit F on the keyboard and set the feather to 50 or maybe I'm going to increase this feather. All right, all right, let's turn off this eye and let's keep the mask like this for now and let's turn off this transparency so that we can see what's going on here, all right? So let's go and create a new solid, Control Y, and rename these lines. Hit OK. And maybe I'm going to shrink this down to cover only the size of the text, all right? So go inside this effects and presets and type in tall noise drag and drop it on that layer right all right let's increase the contrast and decrease the brightness and go and collapse this transform and uncheck this uniform scaling because we're going to scale it independently i'm going to crank up this width something like this and yes maybe lower the uh, sorry the brightness to maybe negative 60 and I'm going to animate this evolution as well so let's do that right away let's alt click on this stopwatch of this evolution and let's input an expression time times let's say 500 oops it should be 500 my bad it's too fast maybe let's stick to uh, 300 set this time indicator to the beginning of the keyframe set a keyframe for this and you know click and here click in the in the, in the beginning hold down shift and page down one two two times and click it away somewhere here hit u to bring up the keyframes and you can make it even further away to make the animation a little faster because we want a fast and a swift lines, you know. And let's go ahead and bring this mask just on top of the lines. And we're gonna mask this out by setting the alpha map to mask, right? Let's go and create the text first and we'll come back uh, on the these lines and we're, we're gonna fix the look of this, right? So let's go and create a text type in fast right so center it here and control alt and home to bring this to the center and go and type in ramp and gradient ramp drop this and change this to I don't know red because I like the red better and move this point towards the text so that you have a gradient text and go and type in alpha bevel alpha and drop this here and i'm gonna increase the intensity to one and edge to one as well so slight bevel like that right so go and add an animate position we're gonna animate this it's very basic let's do it real quick it's coming from the left so make sure you drag it here if you want to learn more on text animation you can check out the description down below i have a bunch of tutorials uh, there in my channel right so let's go back here and go to the advanced change this shape to square from square to ramp down and we're going to animate the this offset right so set a keyframe and shift hold on shift and page down one two and there right so go to the east high Set this to 40 and is low to 60. And make sure to turn on the motion blur for the for the layers and for the composition as well. 
All right, let's go and fix the look of the lines here. All right, go to the effects and controls. First of all, let's go inside the effects and presets and type in turbulent displace and drag and drop it on the lines. Go to the effects and presets again and type in hue and saturation and drop that to color it. Check this colorize and you can increase this saturation to 100 and what i did was add a glow glow effect on this layer right so play with this glow and duplicate this glow something like this and you can see so many things going on so many lines going on there you can you can always go come back here and change this the look of this right so brightness and contrast you can come in just here right like that that looks good and you can always come and change the turbulence change the turbulent displace a 45 and one more thing I added was create a new adjustment layer and and add a turbulent displace a turbulent displace turbulent displace and the adjustment layer animate this offset right so go to the beginning of the timeline set a keyframe go maybe about one second and shift it shift this here hit U to bring up the keyframes and you have this but that's too harsh and let's bring it down to maybe 10 10 set a keyframe here and go a few frames and set this to zero. Hit U and select all the keyframes, F9 for easy ease. So you have some kind of turbulent displays on the text as well. Maybe you can stretch this out a little bit. And in the original example, I added a stock footage, which is a smoke, drag and drop this and rotate it, which rotate it like this and you know i stretch it out something like this and i'm going to duplicate this mask Control d and put it just on top of the stock footage and i just mask it out just like we did for the lines and kind of that so what i added was hue and saturation to this and check this color rise and saturation to 100 and you have that and you can even you know decrease the opacity t and maybe 30 and screen all right that is how you create this simple animation check out these two videos as well this has been motion designer and i will see you in my next video take care